Now she's continuing her mission to help three couples have the baby they've always dreamed of. And as they all head out on a relaxing retreat, Dr Larissa takes a closer look at the effect diet and exercise could be having on their fertility. When trying for a baby, one of the most powerful tools you have total control over is your own diet and exercise. This week, we've brought our couples here to Middle Piccadilly, a retreat in the heart of the Dorset countryside, to show them the importance that diet and exercise can have in terms of them falling pregnant. I'll be introducing them to new activities and showing them the right things to put inside their body to give them the best possible chance of having the baby they are dreaming of. This is the conception plan. Right, first things first, it's time for a spot of yoga. Yoga is an ancient form of exercise that focuses on strength, flexibility and breathing and is a proven stress reliever, something very important when trying for a baby. How can yoga in particular help couples to conceive? Well, it can really help. For a woman particularly, she needs to get back in touch with the lower area of her body, around her yeah. hips, around her pelvis. And when a woman's upset a lot by not having a baby, often she can cut herself off from that, mm. that area of her body. She, it can feel yes. a little bit angry with it. Yeah. And yoga helps us to get back in and get connected. Also helps to stretch those muscles and prepare them for conceiving a baby. Closing your eyes and take a deep breath in through your nose. And a long exhale. I've never thought of doing yoga before to help us conceive, but it's definitely something that I think we should look into when we get home. Yeah, no, definitely. I think, um, I think yoga could help in a lot of ways, really. <laughs> I think it'd be a good activity we could do together as a couple. Yeah, definitely. Really enjoyed it. I personally got out a really nice sense of being relaxed. I've not felt that for a long time, so to be in that kind of zone has been a, a great thing, so I could start to go forward with. Well, I think they've earned their lunch, but before they can eat, it's time for another important lesson. So I'm going to talk to you about the principles of clean eating and a clean diet. So that means we're getting rid of anything that's processed. So we want to be as clean as possible with our food. And the great news is that there's so much good stuff out there that you can eat that can really help to boost your chances of getting pregnant. The first thing we're going to make is what I call my fertility smoothie. It packs together all the essential nutrients and ingredients that you need to give you a really healthy start to your day. And though the fruit we're going to be having in the smoothie has sugar, it actually comes with fibre. When there's fibre involved, it means that the sugar is processed a lot better. So that's particularly useful when you've got polycystic ovaries, okay, in terms of helping to regulate that blood sugar. So we've got a whole selection of lots of different fruit. It comes in all sorts of different colours, which is another really good sign that they're packed full of antioxidants. What we're going to do is make it up next. In this smoothie, there are berries and bananas, both high in fibre. The spinach contains folate, which protects babies from neural tube defects and is great for boosting mum's blood count. The pumpkin seeds are high in zinc, which is key for sperm production. And turn it up. So I can't wait for you to try this. Really nice. Is there a maximum of the amount you should drink? Or? You shouldn't really have more than one a day. If you really like it, you can have it for breakfast, but it's usually good to mix it up with other smoothies. And it's really easy to make. Right, guys, so it's lunchtime, OK? It's one of the best meals of the day. And what we've got for you today is burger and chips. Do you all like burger and chips? Yes. Right? Who doesn't? <laughs> so do I. But this isn't burger and chips as you know it, OK? This is a raw, clean, plant-based version, so it's completely vegan. It's full of really good proteins and fats that the plants contain, and lots of yummy seeds as well, which are packed full of nutrients, good for your sperm and your eggs. So what I'm going to do is serve it up for you, leave you to enjoy and taste, and let me know what you think. That's really tasty. Has anyone ever cooked anything like this before? No, 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 never. Never. no, 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 Next, I want to show the couples the importance of incorporating exercise into their daily routine. And there's nothing like the great outdoors to get their blood flowing. 
Okay guys, I brought you to a really special and powerful location for a spot of gentle exercise. And what better place than the CERN Abbas Giant we see right behind us there <laughs> in all his glory. Traditionally, childless women were brought here to sing, to dance, to sleep, even have sex on the giant. But don't worry, I'm not gonna get you to do that right now, okay? We're gonna save that for later. So come and follow me. <laughs> Walking or hiking can burn up to 500 calories per hour depending on your terrain, so it's a really easy way to get moving. How much exercise do you guys do normally every day? You're better than me. Yeah, <laughs> not enough. Yeah, not, not enough. enough. So how have you found all of today? Yeah, good. Yeah, really yeah. Nice relaxing time. day. Yeah, great start yeah. to the day with the yoga. I look forward to trying a few more recipes going forward as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited for that. I, I'm a proper foodie anyway, so yeah. anything to try and, you know, get in there then, of course. Yeah, to help boost the fertility. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely yeah. Well, today's been really brilliant. I've really enjoyed it. And I think all the couples have learned some key lessons about making some simple changes to their diet and exercise regimes to help boost their fertility. I just hope they've got enough energy left to make some magic happen tonight. Thank you very much. Fingers crossed. Yeah, for more tips uh, from Dr Larissa about how diet and exercise can affect your fertility, go and have a look at our app.